the superstructure with concrete and then filled in with hemp between. So you've, it's not typical load bearing. Pass that around. That one's a little bit heavier because it is a bit of white cement, it? but usually it can be super light as well. Um, so basically, you've got your frame that holds the roof, all your engineering is done on a frame, and that's also how <coughs> you don't have to apply for special permission in South Africa for hemp building. When applying for wood frame building, that's got a lime and cellulose in for. So all the engineering, everything is done on your frame. Then you don't need a brick layer or really experienced guys. You put your shuttering up, um, and then basically you build one layer, fill it up, tamp it down lightly. You don't want to compress it too much because then you're going to lose those air pockets. Those air pockets create a lot of that insulation, a lot of that breathability. Tamp it down lightly, let that dry, move the boards up, do another layer, do another layer until you built your, your solid wall. Um, How long does it take to dry? You can do it pretty much after like half a day. You just don't want to go too high, too fast, because it's going to get bowing at the bottom if it hasn't actually properly set. So you can see that's pretty, that would have been one, uh, sorry, that's on the stuff of Mickey's soup kitchen delivering the end foods. Um, Okay, so next, getting to like later on, this is the latest build that just happened in uh, Bart Skeeter's Boss, which is out near Khan's Bay. And um, a lady called Jill, and she built a very, how, how, how many square meters was that? It was about 60 square meters. 60 square meters, little place, um, with all wood and solar, all off grid. But here we tried the next level on which um, actually, Matthew, in my office upstairs behind the door, there's some of this shuttering. Okay, the black corner piece, if you can bring it. Um, so this is another way of doing the shuttering. Instead of doing the wood shuttering, like a plywood, which takes quite a long time because you got to unscrew it all the time and then move it up another level and try and get it all lined up. It, it adds quite a bit of time to the building uh, material. This is made from recycled plastic and it all just clips together. Uh, you have different length pieces. Wolf, I don't know, you ran into a few challenges using it the first time? Is yeah, I think it's just kind of getting used to it. Yeah. But after that, it was super quick. Yeah, yeah so basically, instead of that whole process of now with the, the shuttering having to, to move it up, you'll see when Matthew comes. It's a very, very simple process. All of these are little keys and it locks together. It's a Yeah? I'm not sure where it is. Behind the door on the right hand side as you go in the office. Okay, I'm thinking. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that makes it go even even faster because you will have it, it's already going to be set. These are your spaces over here. From there to there, it's got a, a rod that you'll just pull out, but that's perfectly set. So you get a much straighter wall. That's uh, done more the conventional way with the wood, but you can see the layers here, how you just build it up. And um, that's the view from our original hemp house, with your hemp curtains and bed and all that. Uh, there we go, that's... Do you want to talk us through this house a little bit? So uh, you've got solar. Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, it was quite an interesting project because Joel had um, helped on Mickey's project for a couple of days. And then uh, she'd kind of said, like, you know, she'd like to build a hemp house as well. So, you know, you kind of always hear that. But, you know, within about three months, she was kind of, I've got my plot, I've got my money. You know, her budget was perfect for the size house that she wanted. And, uh, yeah, I mean, we, we went about it. And, and she really wanted to be involved in the build as well. So that was quite nice. And, you know, we, we 